In this video, we'll be using Autodesk Inventor again to create ourselves a 10 by 1 Lego brick. Okay, it looks like a fair bit of work. It's actually quite simple to make something like this just by repeating this pattern all the way along the shape. You only need to draw it once, then we just repeat those little circles all the way along the brick. Okay, so let's have a look at how to do that by heading up to the file menu to start with and making ourselves a new document. We'll be choosing a metric template and a standard millimetre part. From here we're going to start a new 2D sketch and we'll stick it on the XZ plane today, so that's the base plane. And we'll be drawing a rectangle, so grab that rectangle from your ribbon, click on the origin and drag out. Okay, we want to come out 8 for the height there and we're going to go 80 for the width. Press enter when you're done and you'll see that you get a nice big long shape. Finish the sketch once you've done that and I want you to extrude that a distance of 9 millimeters. Okay, so there's our basic Lego brick drawn up. The next thing we'll do is put the little dimples on top. So start a 2D sketch and click on the top face of your Lego brick. From here just grab your circle tool and draw yourself a 4mm circle. Do I mention that circle now? Zoom in a bit so you can see this a bit clearer. So grab your dimension tool, click on the center of the circle, then click, oops, didn't click right on the center then, we'll try again, click on the center, click on the top edge of the shape, and then come out to the left, click your mouse and type in 4 millimeters. We'll dimension again by pressing the center of the circle and then pressing on the left edge of the shape, coming up the top, clicking, and typing in 4 mil again. That just gets our little circle 4 mil from the edges of our rectangle. Now that's our first little dimple drawn for our um, Lego brick. We need another 9 to come along here. So instead of drawing each of those circles individually, we're just going to create a pattern that will be repeated over and over again. And to do that, you just simply go up to the rectangular pattern tool here. And for the geometry, just select the shape you want to repeat. Okay, you might need to zoom in a bit here and click on that circle. Okay, it should highlight in a slightly lighter blue color once you've got it selected. Now once you've got that selected, zoom out a bit so you can see this, we're going to choose direction and click the top edge of our rectangle. Now at the moment it's pushing our pattern out to the left over here. Okay, you can see the preview of that. We don't want that, so we're going to have to hit these little arrows here to flip that direction around and you'll see that that circle now comes onto our Lego brick which is what we're after. Now we're going to need another nine of these bricks. So type in nine to that box and there needs to be an eight millimeter gap between them. Actually it looks like we need ten. That's right we need ten bricks in total. Uh, little dimples in total because we're making a ten by one brick. Alright so we've got 10 circles in total with an 8mm gap between each of them and you can see they're all perfectly positioned. So click on OK and you've now got all the dimples that are going to go on top of your Lego brick. So finish that sketch off, click extrude and we're going to extrude those little dimples 1.7mm. OK, you can go around and click on each of those circles and then click OK when you're done. Okay, so now we've got our Lego brick looking pretty pretty sweet. Flip it around to the bottom side now, and we'll hollow it out by using the shell feature. So click on shell, type in 0.8 millimeters for the thickness, and just click on that bottom face. Click OK when you're done, you can have a look underneath now, and you can see that we've just shelled or hollowed out our Lego brick. Oh, it's looking good. Last thing I want to do is just put a few tubes along the bottom here to help it connect to other Lego bricks. Okay, so the way we do that is we start a 2D sketch and just put it on the base or the bottom face of our Lego brick. And what we need to do is draw a circle, okay, to start with in between here. But before we do that, we just want to project some geometry. So click the project geometry option in the ribbon and just select this bottom face and then press escape and what that's done is just brought through all the um, circles and rectangle from that uh, top face. So what we're going to do now is just use those projected lines to help with our placement of our circles underneath the shape. So let's grab the circle tool now, 
zoom in a little bit towards the start of the shape here and if you hover near the center of these circles that have been projected you'll see a black dashed guide line appear and it's just showing us that we are smack bang in the center of those circles okay so when you've got that black dashed line appearing i want you to click about there and just draw out a circle that's 2.4 millimeters in diameter press enter when you're done and you'll get a little circle looking something like that okay so it's in line with all these other circles which is good but it's not evenly spaced between the two of them so grab your dimension tool and just click on the center of the first circle click on the center of the circle you just drew come up the top click and type in 4 and press enter and you'll now know that this circle is evenly spaced between those two yellow circles okay so what we want to do now is just basically repeat that pattern all the way along all right so what we need to do is grab our rectangular pattern tool from at the top here in the ribbon for the geometry select the green circle we just drew the direction hit the little arrow there and then choose this top yellow line and it's pushing it out to the right which is good it's just our size here is not quite right so how many circles do we want i think we need about nine i'll just double check that in a minute and the distance between each one is going to be eight millimeters and that looks pretty good to me actually so make sure that first box is nine second one's eight millimeters press ok and you should now have all your circles put in along the bottom of your lego brick so finish that sketch click extrude and we're going to be extruding those a total distance of 8.2 millimeters 8.2 and i want you to just go through and click on each of those circles to extrude them okay you may need to just adjust your view a little bit so i'm clicking on all the green ones that looks like all of them so we'll click ok as we swing this around now you'll see that we've got some tubes put in looks like i missed the first one there so i might just have to quickly go back into that extrusion and share the sketch and just quickly extrude this one as well there we go so that's back on track all right so that's looking good I'm just going to right click on sketch 3 here and just turn the visibility off and that will make it look a lot cleaner so we've got the tubes put in last thing we need to do is just color it in okay so i'm going to do something a little bit different when we color in this time i'm going to select oops i just need to press escape select all of this shape in a sec and i'm going to use this adjust tool this time okay, and it will allow me to choose a color from the color wheel all right so i'm just going to click and drag over the top of my lego piece and just simply choose a purpley color okay, it's up to you which one you want oops forgot to apply it so choose your color and hit the green tick okay and that will apply your color to your lego brick okay so that's just a little bit different using the second color wheel up here the adjustment one rather than the appearance browser that we usually use to get those shiny materials onto our shapes okay just the color is fine for lego bricks all right so that's that one done you can save him up and catch you in the next video